So we're here to talk to you about um, one of the scare tactics um, that can be posed as a logical fallacy. Scare tactics are used to uh, connect with the audience and strike fear into them so that they are persuaded to think a certain way. The example in the upper left hand corner um, relates to World War II and it is persuading the audience to buy war bonds by um, striking fear into the audience which would be parents of children. That could be a logical fallacy because just because you don't buy a war bond doesn't necessarily mean that your child will be claimed by Nazis. The other two examples are also scare tactics because they use horrifying examples of things that can happen um, if you either smoke or do um, meth or other drugs. This is not always con considered a logical fallacy um, because these are more fair, these are real life situations that are likely to happen, unlike the other example, which is unlikely to happen. Next we have the definition of a scare tactic, and it is the use of fear to prove a point through causing prejudice or descriptive visual images with the intent to scare. Another common theme with scare tactics is the use of uh, over-exaggeration. Um, the example in the left hand corner um, states that nothing will ever be the same and if you look at the man his life has changed dramatically because of smoking but some things that he does will remain the same no matter what he does. Um, the next example says stop climate change before it changes you and as you can see there is a man who is changing into um, some type of animal. <laughs> This is also over-exaggeration. As we all know, climate change is happening and it will change our lives, but it will not make us mutate into other creatures. But it is more scary to think about ourselves changing than the actual Earth. Um, we state at the bottom that it is commonly used by the Nazi party and the many dictatorship governments. and. Um, for example, Hitler, the reason that he had so many followers was because he scared them into following him by using logical fallacies and over-exaggeration and scary images. Uh, here we have two original examples. Uh, first, because of the possibility of a terrorist hijacking or a mechanical failure, flying on a plane is too dangerous and should be avoided altogether. This is a logical fallacy because more planes land safely than planes that crash. Uh, people who weren't paranoid before may be paranoid now because they were scared of the statement. The second example, um, with school shootings occurring, occurring more, kids should no longer go to school or teachers should be carrying guns. Um, this is a logical fallacy because, again, more safe schools are around than schools who are at risk for shootings. That doesn't mean that we shouldn't be aware of it and there might be a reason to be scared, but it's no reason to have to over-exaggerate and say that all teachers in the country need to carry guns or kids shouldn't go to school. This was a good example of a a scare tactic that is a fallacy. Um, a million jobs have disappeared since 1960. Will your job be next to go? Shouldn't you start your own business now while still employed? This is more of an advertisement in the fact that you should start your own business because everybody's job is disappearing. Well, that's not necessarily true, and losing your job is something to be scared of, but it's if everyone owned their own business, 
then it wouldn't work out that way. But um, it's using the scare tactic of connecting to your emotions by connecting with the audience and having them think to themselves, um, I can't lose my job, I need to start my own business now. This is unfair because I'm sure a lot of employed people are not at risk for losing their job and we need people to do those jobs still. It's unfair to convince them to quit their job and start their own business. Um, finally, it is a natural emotion to be fearful of um, death or of harm to yourself or ones you care about. Um, and unfortunately, businesses and others who um, services that advertise will use this against you. It's unfair and you have to watch out for the fallacies um, and find out what you really should be scared of and what is just trying to sell you something.